We have to win this election, most important election ever. We want a landslide that's too big to rig. If you want to save America, get your friends, get your family, get everyone you know, and vote. Vote early, vote absentee, vote on election day. I don't care how, but you have to get out and vote. And again, Christians, get out and vote just this time. You won't have to do it anymore. Four more years, you know what? It'll be fixed, it'll be fine. You won't have to vote anymore, my beautiful Christians. I love you, Christians. I'm a Christian. I love you. Get out. You got to get out and vote. In four years, you don't have to vote again. We'll have it fixed so good, you're not going to have to vote. Hey guys, Scotty here coming again with another video. Wanted to make another video, guys, because I saw a lot of things that happened. Um, this thing with Trump, where he was giving this speech saying that he's not a Christian, and he said that Christians just need to vote one more time and then they'll never have to vote again, and stuff like that. And we're seeing in the Olympics, um, they did this table of. I guess drag queens and stuff like that and it was with the last supper so that was like a controversial thing but guys that stuff happens all the time there's stuff in music videos on album covers um, there's concerts by famous people where they literally are on a cross mocking Jesus I mean stuff is everywhere right now and we know it's supposed to increase because of these last days even uh, if you look up Lil Nas X the rapper you'll see he has a music video where basically goes from heaven into hell and there's just so much of that stuff the mocking of the bible it's just increasing guys like it's supposed to with the birth pains and we're even seeing this thing this world war three broader war stuff all in the news right now guys and really it's like i'm saying guys any moment right now something's just gonna happen and i mean the news it's like so what's the word it's so like unpredictable the news right now because every day 
it's just like some major happens or something's happening and you wouldn't think it's happening but it is and then the next day something else happens so it's just all these dominoes guys are falling into place and I mean we're seeing it guys all this stuff just keeps happening and it's just more and more and more like I've been saying so guys just keep looking up keep relying on Jesus we can see all these things happening they continue to increase and we know that soon we're going to be out of here guys if you don't know Jesus I'm going to show you how with this video you need to get born again in your spirit by believing in your heart the things that he has done for you in the gospel and I mean guys we're seeing so much on this earth I'm just saying right now get this relationship with Jesus because guys you're gonna feel it you're gonna know you're gonna change you're gonna have things happen to you and you're gonna know that this is real guys so I just want to say if you haven't done this now is the time look at this world and I mean I'm pretty sure any day right now this war will begin it's just whenever it happens and it's just there's so much news about it all the time so keep looking up keep relying on Jesus guys and we know we're gonna be out of here soon Jesus suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand he was betrayed by a friend arrested and falsely sentenced to death he was beaten and whipped a crown made of thorns pressed into his head bearing the cross he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha. Each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to Him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way. Sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket, our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit. 